हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एग्रीकल्चर साइंसेज विद आलोक द्विवेदी सो टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बायो पेस्टिसाइड एंड बोटेनिकल पेस्टिसाइड इन डिटेल वट इज बायो पेस्टिसाइड सो बायो पेस्टिसाइड्स आर दो पेस्टिसाइड्स विच आर डिराइव फ्रॉम नेचुरल मटेरियल्स सच एज फ्रॉम एनिमल्स प्लांट्स बैक्टीरिया एंड सम सर्टेन सोडाज फर्दर दे आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू थ्री मेजर क्लासेज वन इज बायो केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड सेकेंड वन इज माइक्रोबियल पेस्टिसाइड एंड थर्ड वन इज पी आई पी प्लांट इन कॉर्पोरेटेड प्रोटेक्टेंट्स Uh, which means uh, the genetic modification in the plant so uh, as a bio pesticide and botanical pesticides they both have common benefits so we'll discuss it in uh, this slide only uh, so bio pesticide and botanical pesticides they are very less toxic than conventional pesticides so this is very uh, common or general cause uh, to reduce the use of conventional pesticide uh, in the place of bio, bio pesticide so bio pesticide generally targets the pest and doesn't affects the growth of plant so bio pesticide is also uh, very um, beneficial as to uh, increase your uh, growth of your plant as well as to target the pest it only targets the pest and doesn't affects your crop growth third uh, point is it decomposes very quickly and easily in comparison to the conventional pesticide as uh, so fourth post fourth uh, very beneficial uh, cause is that uh, uh, crop yields remains high the use of uh, bio pesticide and botanical pesticides year by year doesn't affect the nutrient management or the nutrient growth of your soil it yields also remains high whereas the conventional pesticide use just alters the nutrient management of your soil now we'll discuss about the botanical pesticide what are botanical pesticides so these are those pesticides which are derived from the plant materials so the example of botanical pesticides are chrysanthemum tomato tobacco soap and water spray wood as kerosene and soap spray garlic and marigold mix so we'll discuss uh, one uh, one by one here chrysanthemum first of all we'll discuss about chrysanthemum so uh, chrysanthemum is a flower uh, where we use the flower and grind it when uh, by drying them uh, in a clay loam soil and with a water and uh, then we uh, use that uh, gel like a structure to the gallon of water and spray it against the infestation we if it now the next one is tomato so boil the stems of uh, uh, tomato and leaves and uh, spray it against the green flies and uh, caterpillars they will uh, just uh, prevent uh, the infestation from caterpillars third one is tobacco boil the midrib and the stems of to, uh, uh, tobacco in the water for a few minutes and leave them for 3 uh, to 4 days in a water only and uh, let it cool and then affect them uh, whenever the infestation is very severe and uh, they also uh, the use of if tobacco uh, as a botanical pesticide uh, just prevent your crop from any of the infestation so you may use them as a common botanical pesticide soap and water spray this is also very common uh, botanical pesticide soap and water spray use the tub, uh, flakes of uh, soap uh, and in a 1 uh, liter of water and uh, spray against the infestation wood ash you might have heard about the wood ash application in the plant or you might have seen in your gardens so spray of wood ash is very common uh, to the uh, gardeners uh, they use it very commonly to protect uh, from caterpillars maggots and cut worms slugs and snails so uh, they what they do they just uh, may make a ring of 3 4 inches wide around the root of a crop and 1 to 2 inches uh, deep uh, trench they just incorporate that as uh, in that area and they protect uh, that wood as protect the crop from all these uh, foreign attackers such as snails slugs cut worms and maggots kerosene and soap spray ja take quarter uh, cup of soapy water and uh, quarter cup of kerosene to the one liter of water and use it whenever the infestation is very severe garlic and marigold mix so you might have heard about or you might you might find uh, you might what uh, you find uh, you will find the garlic and marigold in your garden uh, in your kitchen also you may find the garlic and marigold so use three four cloves of garlic and two handful of marigold mix two pieces of onions and three pieces of red pepper slice all them uh, very uh, finely and add uh, them in a water and boil them let it cool and uh, spray it against your crop and you will see a miraculous effect there will be the no infestation or the pest attack on the crop plant in future 
so thank you friends for watching the video tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and tap the bell icon thank you